Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name of course is Mr. Moko Lover, and let us continue playing as that there combined syndicates of America. So we're doing okay in the Dakotas because there's no one up here. Uh, I did, ooh, okay, Spanish Civil War, I did have to check, and apparently the, oh, hello, the United States sent, the USA, the USA portion, portion the federal government sent literally all but like four divisions to fight me in the East Coast, which is insanely hard. Um, yeah, they basically sent no one to fight the American Union state as well as the Pacific, Pacific state. So they basically sent everyone to come kill us, which in my opinion is extremely unfair and just a little broken. Not going to lie, it's, that's a little broken that they focus on the combined syndicates first and basically do... Nothing to the, any other faction here. So I think that's a little not cool. But anyways, uh, there's Benjamin Katine, which I talked about earlier. And apparently, uh, let's see. So France got this little portion of Switzerland. All right. And Switzerland, however, is still a market liberal. However, we got to check. Canada, you are still a commonwealth. You're not a kingdom. You are going more and more market liberal. It looks like. So that's pretty good for us. So, uh, yeah, we've got to really get back here. So you guys, our goal is to get the hell back to our front lines because this is a bunch of garbage. So I did t tinker a little bit with this. I did send a lot of them, some, not all, but some of the American divisions to fight these stupid southerners because, like I said, they were just fighting us. There was, they were literally not even fighting anyone else we were the only targets that they wanted so i literally had to redirect them some of them elsewhere it was just complete garbage it didn't make any sense like why are you fighting only me you have literally two other groups to fight and so that really honestly kind of pissed me off seeing literally seeing that the usa the federal government was just trying to kill me and that was it no one else that really did not put a good taste in my mouth. But anyways, we got some more divisions to raise up. Let's see, Michigan, uh, 10, 5, 6. Let's go with 10 more, please. That would be great. 1939 Dutch elections, very good. Uh, looks like we killed someone here. Um, I mean, there's bits and po- Oh, rocket, rocket? No, Russian divisions. There are bits and parts all over this place that are just empty holes. So, honestly... I really can't wait to kill off the American, the federal, the federal government because of the way they've already treated us. I mean, that's ridiculous. They sent literally all their divisions to us. That's not very cool. All of their divisions to us. Oh, wow. All right, CNT. Very good. Uh, it looks like that's a faction we want to support, but ooh, attacking Louisville isn't going super well. Um, our attacks generally aren't going... Ex oh. Central Committee Directive, Directive 764, a Revolutionary Education Act. Do those who are well educated, either formally or through bitter experience, revolutionary thought comes as early or comes as easily as breathing. However, many of our comrades, whether in the steel belt or elsewhere in America, have been lied to their entire lives by the capitalists and do not understand how the revolution frees them. Many do not give their heart and soul to the revolution, and some even attempt to sabotage our efforts, unaware that we are the only force that truly cares for them. This must be remedied, and our comrades must be deprogrammed. Should we focus on reaching those in our territory, keeping our own morale up, or should we spread our message throughout the entire enemy territory and sap their will to fight their liberators? Uh, honestly, we got enough war support, so let's go focus on the home front. And bourgeoisie flee to Canada. All right, so be it. So freaking be it. All right, good. Uh, honestly, I might have sent a few divisions back down to the south in North Carolina a little bit too much, but. In all honesty, playing as a CSA is actually <laughs> difficult. Back in the day, back in that their day when I, this mod was a little earlier, a little more young, it was actually much more difficult. Much, much, much more difficult for everyone else. Because the CSA in the old days was actually kind of overpowered. But nowadays, it's honestly a little bit too difficult in my opinion. At least nowadays, unless you actually tamper with it just a little bit to make it a little bit more balanced because honestly with the entire federal forces in Washington um, yeah that was 
that was a bit too much. That was just way too much. They had like 50 divisions just here. And you saw me losing all of Pennsylvania. That was very unbalanced, in my opinion. Yes, yes, it's Washington, D.C. The Federals need to defend their capital, but... I mean, my good God. They were only attacking me. Literally, only me. And that's not cool, man. Only attacking me? And honestly, yeah, I probably nerfed them a little bit too hard, but... It was just ridiculous. I mean, you, you saw me lose all of Pennsylvania and part... And I guess I've already lost all of West Virginia, but... Very not cool. Very, very not cool. Go ahead and be added to him. Uh, oh, wow. We don't have that much political power. Indiana has six. Minnesota has five. Wisconsin has six. Let's go Wisconsin just because you never knew if you... Oh, army takes power in the Philippines. Uh, we, you never know if you might just lose this area here. Go ahead and stop attacking. And I'm going to put you back up in here, Chicago, just in case things might happen. Oof. Fall of Barcelona, good. So, yeah. At least the Federals are still based here, but... Okay, seriously, stop fucking moving. Stop moving. Okay, he, there's no point for you to, to move. I mean, seriously. Stop trying to attack positions where you don't have to attack. Makes no sense. But yeah, I mean, my god. Just... That really pissed me off. I should have showed you, like, all, like, 50, not all 50, but 50 of their divisions were literally just poised at us. That, that made me so angry, just seeing how broken it was, basically. How much they hate the combined syndicates compared to the American Union State, which is actually pretty strong compared to us. I mean, they're, they're pretty ba well balanced at this point. I mean, they have 31 factories. They have about, about the same amount of factories we do. Maybe we have slightly more. They have upwards of 86 divisions, which is definitely more than us, it looks like. Yeah, they have up to 86, 86 maybe. But no, it's fairly balanced. They definitely have more ships than us. Uh, definitely looks like they have more planes. So, honestly, me and the American Union State are fairly balanced. The Pacific States, they should be a little weaker, but they are, you know, factory, using factor, uh, factory-wise. And naval ships, they're definitely... Much stronger than us. And that's okay. That's definitely okay. They're the Pacific States. Uh, good. I have... At least those divisions came through. That's, that's really good. Ooh, baby. But, nevertheless... Honestly, the federal government is still not gone. They can still come back. I mean, how many divisions you got? This has got... Oh, you lost a lot of manpower. This has got quite a few divisions. Quite a few... Quite a few divisions. Ships are fine. The factories, not super great. Even though I am losing quite a few... And you know what? We're going to stop importing stuff. Uh, oh, wait. We have Lendley stuff that we can't really change. Go and throw yourself on this group here. Uh, yeah. Um, guys, I told you to make a move. Go this way. So, I'm expecting something here. But, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, so internal conflicts. At the offset of the revolution... John Reed placed IWW as a model and future successor to Congress. The AFL, which has seen a decline in membership since or before 1935, was revitalized by Reed's endorsement. Now the AFL, a part of the coalition fighting the socialist revolution, has begun to exercise their ideological autonomy. They've chosen to occupy the entire left side of the IWW and begun to pull in allies. Their debates with the IWW can be sometimes leaked out into street brawls and in two cases friendly fire. The vanguards owing their allegiance only to the revolution have tried to foster cooperation. Now, Reed must decide whether it's more dangerous to continue support for IWEW when compromise is in sight. Uh, syndicalism, totalism, side of the AFL, radical socialism. Well, I don't want radical socialism. That's not going to be very conductive to anything here. Uh, I still hate... I, I, I hate the USA right now because the Federals are just overpowered. That needs to be a little bit more balanced. Anyways, um, let's see... Compromise. Well, what do we want to do? Eventually, I already checked these things out. I don't want to do Commonwealth of America because that doesn't sound like very much fun. What it sounds like fun, though, is the Union of Socialist American States. And then eventually get to defend the revolution, Revolutionary Guards, but then the Revolutionary Guards become the CIA, which is freaking hilarious, which I, I think is really cool. So I do want this. So I don't want to go with syndicalist because you have to either choose Browder or you have to choose Foster which is fine with me 
for choosing either one. So syndicalism, totalism, not definitely not radical socialism. Anti-capitalist. Wait, current ruling party is totalist. Current ruling party is totalist. So I'm gonna force a cop compromise. I think that'd be for the best. And now we have superior firepower doctrines done. Good. Uh, let's see. Let's go back over here. Artillery support upgrades. Eh, let's go shock and awe. Do we have things we can do here? Oh, nice. Did we get? Oh, we got some more supporters. That's right. Uh, Indiana has six. Minnesota has five. Let's get Indiana next. And Liberia is our enemy, and we've been losing a lot of convoys. Honestly, just stop the let lease. There's no point if we just keep you know losing everything, right? I mean, yeah, this is good. Oh, wow, we got a lot of support equipment. That's pretty good. Uh, whew. yeah, we need guns. Just keep holding the line, boys. Actually, you know what? Go ahead and rearrange the line, just in case. Since we are pretty much at this point in a three-way war. I mean, eh, we're, I guess, technically still in a four-way war with the Federals over here, but... Oh, oh this is not going to be easy. Oh, okay. Oh, well, looks like someone's joined the Cairo Pact. Just defend. That's really what we need right now. The American Union State obviously has gotten very large, very thick. Very, very thick. Uh, just go ahead and move in since there's no one really over here. That's good. Casualties. Well, we've taken 60,000 compared to the USA. The Look at that. The American Union State has only suffered 7,000 casualties. Are you kidding me? Come on, man. As much as I love the, the American Union State for what it is, that's a little under unbalanced if... The Federals take 75,000. I take 60,000. The Pacific States takes like none. But you only suffer 7,000? Come on. Come on, man. That's not cool. Anyways, uh, let's see. Uh, take one. Just kind of spread them all out at this point. And you know what? I'm going to actually put you over with this group as well. Nice. We've got some good stuff there. 1937 stuff. Uh, yeah. Do that. Oh, and... Ah, uh, there's something we needed to do. Oh, of course, we're doing land auction, which is great. It'll be finished in 57 days. Artilleries, no, we can't do that yet. Companies, we can't really use that either. Well, maybe we can a little bit. But refineries, maybe we can build a refinery eventually? Probably not, but maybe. Really, my goal is just to defend. That's really my goal. Oh, uh, oh okay. Uh, the fall of Madrid. Okay, so the heart of the Kingdom of Spain falls. We have another... Oh, yeah. Get Minnesota next. Oh, can get Iowa? Two di militia divisions. And Missouri is four. Fall of... Ju oh! Pff. Um... Okay, so there goes Korea. I guess the Iberian Federation is here now. Hello. Uh, okay. Um, that was fast. That was really fast. What the heck? Uh... Korea, of course, is gone. Spanish Civil War is over. Wow. Shit. And it looks like the American Union State is finally trying to attack us. Good luck, Militia Divisions. You are going... Oh, wow. That's not a bad army XP. Uh, For you guys. Oh, oh support from Syndicalists. Rebels fighting for Syndicalists cause elsewhere in the U.S. have made contact with the government offering an array of scavenged supplies. Okay. So, 50, 75, or 100 political power, maybe. And we get... 50. That's not bad. That's, a, that's actually pretty good. Loyalist Garrison. Uh, go ahead and delete that. Uh, what type of divisions do we have? We got a lot of militias, which is 18 with 18 combat width isn't bad. Do I have enough? I do have some artillery, some National Guard, Revolutionary militia, Loyalist militia. Uh, uh National Guard. Hmm. Right now, you are all militia divisions, which I can't really edit. Honestly, kind of sucks. These, the revolutionary militia garrisons, can you be changed? Uh, let's see. You are revolutionary garrisons. Yes, you might be able to be changed. Let's do that. Go ahead and add some engineer companies on these guys as well. That might ruin everything. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Right. Uh, 
Yeah, I mean, it's just mostly just defending at this point. So, um, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. George H. Cannon. That works. Sorry, I had to text somebody real quick. Got something I hear. Uh, Iron Guard will make you join the Belgrade Pock. Do you have an upgrade? No. Not yet. All right. That's fine. That's fine. Does anyone else have an upgrade? No. Okay, then. Uh, Foundation of the Belgrade Pocked. Uh, looks like people still want to kill us. That's pretty normal. People do really don't like us. That's fine. You know. Pretty normal for us. No! We're going to lose Philadelphia! No! Oh, British equipment arrives. Nice. Um... I'm going to push in when I can. So, you guys just... Oh, order restored in North Dakota. Over the past week, Syndicalist government forces have been busy in North Dakota, arresting those we feel will prove a hindrance to our control and helping our local supporters spring the good word amongst the people. We want to assure them, as American citizens, they have no reason to fear our presence. Our efforts have slowly begun to bear fruit, even in the midst of all this chaos. Uh, claim lost by CSA. Now a core. Okay. That's not bad. I mean, they don't have that much, but at least we got some steel. That's pretty good, right? And five more divisions. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and add them here. And we can not do any other ones because we're out of stuff. Push against the Federals. Okay, so we lost the defensive and attacking bonus for the Federal Government. That's fine. We're going to lose Pennsylvania. That sucks, but, you know, whatever. Uh, you guys, really focus on over here and make sure that Canada doesn't go to war with us. Please, for the love of God, please don't. We actually have some fuel. So, Central Committee Directive 1231. Establishment of the Committee for Intelligence Activities. It is an unfortunate fact that there are spies and saboteurs within our territory working to prevent our glorious liberation of the proletarian masses. Of the many proposals submitted to the Central Committee, one stands out. Earl Browder's proposal to take a committee to enforce revolutionary order and stop counter-revolutionary sabotage. However... Others within the Central Committee, including Chairman Reed, wonder if this is a necessary step and if we would be betraying our ideals, regardless of what was taken. What was decided? Committee for Intelligence Activities will be created. Uh, that honestly sounds like a lot of fun. That sounds like, like a lot of fun, having something like that. And creating the CIA might be really, really interesting. Uh, let's see. The war has to be over for that. Totalism? T totalism? Yeah. 77,000 casualties. Not bad. Finally, the American Union State is taking some casualties. So that's good. But, oh. Okay, another one. Uh, CCD 213, War Syndicalism. As a war stalemates and perhaps even turns against us, the Central Committee is debating a comprehensive economic reform proposal known as War Syndicalism. Some of its, some of its proposals, such as state control of all foreign trade, nationalization of all factories, strict labor dis discipline, are not especially controversial. It also includes potentially problematic measures such as the outlawing of wildcat strikes, obligatory labor duty for those not working or in the military, strict food rationing, and military control over railroads. Wow. This is seen as tyrannical within the SPA with a number saying that some of the latter measures, especially the outlawing of wildcat strikes, would betray the values of the revolution and make the current government no better than its capitalist enemies. Those supporting the proposals in the IWW and Vanguard counter that it is necessary in order to achieve victory in the revolution and that the first laws pass after the war, after the, after the end of the war, will revert war syndicalism. Uh, let's see. So, live free and die free men. War support. Oh, we can't lose 10% stability already. Uh, war support's fine. Uh, we get less political power, which we'll get 0.4 a day then. Resource efficiency gain. War, supply consumption is better. And we can produce military factories much better, and we we gain more stability. So, yeah, definitely that. Oh, Kentucky National Guard. Hey, thanks for showing up, guys. Thanks for showing up. Actually, that was part of this division. Was it? Maybe not. Maybe it was. Yeah, that actually is part of this, yeah. Uh, go ahead, if you can, put on some of that. I'm actually going to get rid of... Eh, get rid of that one. Uh, get rid of this so we can spare some soldiers. That's fine. Do that. And yeah, we definitely need some more support equipment. You know what? Get rid of 25 of these. Get rid of one of those. That's fine. Put that up here. That should be good for... Uh, I don't know. We're out of guns. You know what? Get back up to 30 or something. Alright, that should be okay. 
So we're still trying to attack this direction here. Go ahead and add in the Bronx Yankees in here as well. Alright, so the AUS is still trying to attack us. And they're doing an okay job in certain locations. Oh, Courtney Hicks Hodges. Oh, Syndicalist uprising in the West. Fighting along the West Coast between Syndicalist sympathizers and security forces have been severe in recent weeks. But dropped off within the last weeks, leading to hopes that the unions out West had finally given hope of success. Though these hopes were dashed as a new uprising was revealed with a number of militias organized by powerful Teamster and Longshoresmen, unions in Washington and Oregon State, and armed through underground efforts. This opens up a new front in the Civil War and should the rebels find a way to break out of the mountains. Hurrah! Hurrah indeed. And they are... Wow! Okay, this is really kind of unexpected. I'm going to actually add you down here. Syndicalist Rebel Command. Wow, veterans. John Tiza. Let's get put them under Maurice Rose, even though they're not tanks, but... Holy crap, you're actually a really good infantry division. Nice. I'm going to throw you guys over here, too. I want all of you to move this way. Go ahead and do that. Because right now, our goal is just to link up with them. And that would be actually really cool if we could. That would actually be very cool. Uh, do we have enough divisions along the entire coast? That's good. Fighting out in this direction is not very much fun. Not gonna lie. Uh, let's see. Where are you at? Where's Indiana? Yeah, just go move over there. That's fine. It looks like, though, over here, that attacking probably isn't going so well for us. Factories, not bad. We have lost a few of them, which isn't very good good or conductive for our war efforts uh you do not look good oh my goodness oh you're eight combat width which is freaking normal order is stored in south dakota same as the thing that happened in north dakota so that's fine we have complete control and we get all of their manpower and stuff like that herbert charles heitke falls ill that's fine go ahead everyone just move this direction we need to link up with the forces out this direction good and it looks like syndicalism is spreading to burma Oh, okay then. Uh, there's really not much I can do here. I mean, I could try to strike this direction. But we'll see definitely what happens. I'm not really going to use militias as defensive units. Not really help attack. Panama Canal Garrison. You guys probably need a little bit of a boost. Maybe you can switch those guys out. Yeah. American Union say, you, you kill the, the uh, U.S. federal government. You go, go ahead and try that. Go ahead and try. I triple dog dare you. Cool. Seven, da, da, da. Let's see. Engineering. We don't have anything there. That's not bad. I want more land auction, but this is taking forever to do. Support companies. We might need field hospitals. Maybe. Hmm. There's really not much. Uh, I guess we'll do air auction if we have to. Awesome. We've linked up. We have linked up. Shock and awe. Great. And we want to get down to... Expand the army, which will replace revolutionary militia with People's Liberation Army, which <clears throat> hurts our recruitable population factor by a little bit, but give us more artillery attack, defense, planning, speed, and max planning. Wow. Yeah, that's really good. Expand the army? Yeah, definitely. Most definitely. Go ahead and hold. You're fine where you're at. Go ahead and hold as well. That's fine. Just go ahead. Back up. Back up. That's totally fine with me. Just go ahead and, uh, yeah, do that. And then I'm actually going to add this 10, 10 soldiers. Cool. That's what I'm going to do. Wait, uh, yeah, that's better. Good. Good, good, good. Go ahead and reorganize yourself. So this is the way we wanted it. Very nice. Uh, take power in Bulgaria. I'm leaving you out just because I want you to help me fight this direction. The Council of Lend Lease. Uh, inspire syndicalists in the American Union state. Ooh, we lose political power. Five rebel units are raised in Georgia, which is really far away. And then inspire them in Washington. Actually, that's not super far away. Let's do that, yeah. We lose a lot of political power, but that's okay. Spokane, they recaptured Spokane. That's fine. If we can go behind them. Oh, Red Terror. War is hell. Civil War, even more so. The psychological strain caused by having to repeatedly kill, even if the enemy are capitalists, 
have caused some of our soldiers and commanders to become sadistic beyond what con some consider to be acceptable. Although not commonplace, reports of systematic mass executions and torture are being reported from both the front lines and core territories to suppress populations suspected of aiding the capitalist factions. Reed has made an executive decision to suppress these reports from the free media. If the revolution were to fail because of a few bad apples, says Reed, then humanity would collectively suffer for centuries longer. Oh, we only lost 100 manpower. That's, that's nothing. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, fine. Good enough. Cool. Alright then. Um, Royal Ohio, Revolutionary Guard members, come on in. Uh, cool. Yeah, the Federals, the Federalists are really... They really don't like me over here. I really don't like them either. Seeing as uh, this is proper combined syndicate of American territory. So, go eat a dick. <laughs> Federal government. And now the NSA is time is still watching me. As if they ever stopped watching me. Oh, nice. Thank God. We got better. We got that finally. Okay, cool. Go ahead and do this as fast as you can. Uh, I'm, I'm a little worried about this. Don't move. Don't you freaking move. Good, good, good. Whew. You know what? Actually, you help attack. Of all things, you should probably help attack. Because we need to make sure that we don't get cut off. That'll be good. Yeah, let you guys duke it out. Yeah, see how strong the Americans, the U.S. federal government is? They're actually pushing you back. That's how strong they are. Oh, nice! Wait, were you from Washington or something? Or You are from Washington. Um. Okay, well, I'm going to use them. I want you... Uh, let's see. Take... Uh, crap. Let's see. One, two, three. I want you three to join them over here. I want the rest of you guys to join out west. So that'll be good. They are still trying to beat the, the snot out of us. 115,000 Americans on our side have died. Compared to the federal government, which is good. The American Union state is finally taking casualties. So that's good as well. Actually, let's take a quick look here. Us against the American Union state. Oh, because this just splits them all up. I want to see how many casualties the American Union state has lost against the federal government. But, okay. Interesting. Very interesting. What is the Pacific states up to? New Army Doctrine. Alright, that's not bad, but, you know, it's not great. American Union State, they have a lot of divisions, a lot of manpower, and the federal government has a lot of manpower. Well, actually not a lot. I have more. We obviously have more, but they are trying to kill us as hard as they can. Oh, and our central line here is not doing super well. Oh, you are level... Th wow, level 3? Get more attack. You will need more attack. Defense is okay, generally. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Anywhere we can exploit. We're still trying to attack here. Go this direction so we can help crush these guys. Really, my goal is just a good defense. And try to wear out the enemy as much as I can possibly wear them out. Yeah, we need more uh, guns. Not bad. Indo-Chinese revolt succeeds. You push in. You, uh, you know what? You start the attack. Wisconsinites, you go from here, come here. Good, we've actually almost crushed that Pacific division. Uh, push against the Pacific. Oh, okay. War syndicalism, that's not bad. Expand the army, good. Oh, yeah, once we get that, we'll definitely be doing better. Oh, man. Um, hmm. They really love attacking us. You guys. How about all but you? You all... Will, you know what? You guys just strike this way. You guys should probably take this group out. Yeah, push them out. Jonathan M. Wayne Wright, you are not going to be doing so well against us. Another division will come to the west. That'll be good. That'll be very good. Go here, you go here, and you go here. Pretty not bad. Awesome. Expand the army is finished. We've got a couple divisions here. Nice. We can honestly probably lower this much. Let's go two at a time, even though it's probably not a great idea to lower the number of divisions we have currently. But I think we should probably begin to convert some of these militia divisions into, you know, infantry divisions that would have a better chance of standing up against enemy militia divisions. Uh, revolutionary fervor. We could use that. Military research. Hmm. Artillery support. Centralized command. Lessons from the Revolution, Red Rockets, Rockets Red Glare, Long-Term Planning. Well, what do we need most? Infantry weapons, 
armor. Revolutionary fervor is not bad. More war support isn't bad because it'll give you more attack and defense on core territory. That could be very good. Nothing, there's nothing out left. So, I'm probably going to do that. It's not bad. And we have Inspire Syndicalist in the American Union State. Game push against Longists. So we can actually push them against, against them harder. But I want to wait until we get maybe a little bit closer to Georgia. So, that's my goal. Just bleed pretty much all the enemy factions out. Got a couple of divisions there. Take you and you. Attack this way. That might be able to do okay. Yeah, let's hope so. Definitely hope so. Uh, they, wow, the AUS is definitely pushing hard against us in the center here. Which is fine. They're going to really wear themselves out, which is fine with me. Push this way. Push them across the river if you can. Uh... I just want the federal government. I don't want to push too hard against the federal government, which means that they... M uh, I don't know, man. At this point, I really want to see us do well against pretty much everyone. But Amer the American United States is probably our biggest threat right now. They really are. Ooh, actually, we might have a good opportunity to attack this direction. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, go ahead and push this way as well. Send one of you divisions from Illinois this way. Good. Oh, this is not going very well. Go ahead and stop attacking then. Over here, this is fine. It's fine. Oh, George H. Cannon isn't doing so well. And I think we're doing okay. S support from Syndicalists, great. So we got 50? Was that 50 more? 75. There might have been actually 75 more political power, which is awesome. So far, I think overall we're doing okay. Not great, but we're doing okay. Why is this taking so long? Militia divisions, you need... You obviously need more stuff. Yeah, put some support artillery on there. You definitely need some artillery on these babies. Oh, we got a lot of guns. Actually, that's really good. You know what? I'm going to lower this. Because we definitely need more artillery. That'll be the bread and butter of superior firepower. Uh, but other than that, this is the last thing we'll read, and then we'll end it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Central Committee Directive 656 Winter Resources Allocation Program 1937 Edition. The revolution must succeed, but the revolution is also for the people. When supporting the revolution and supporting the people who are the same, the choice is trivial, but when one must be priori prioritized over the other, hard choices must be made. The Central Committee has made aware that the supply situation is critical, and either the people or the army must be undersupplied throughout the winter. Army, stability, yeah, definitely stability. You definitely do that, and that is pretty much all for today. So with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as we continue to try to push against both the Pacific States, the American Union State, and a little bit against the federal government. Thank you very much for watching, guys.